Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Tuesday's Daily Breakdown. Hey, now, here's what we got. Um, before we get into the workout, let's talk a little bit about our skill or warm up. Um, we have uh, <clears throat> a couple sets of different uh, warm up protocols for you guys leading into an every minute on the minute with two different segments, okay? So, on odd minutes, we have prescribed eight to 10 pull ups strict um now we've talked a ton in these videos if you don't have a pull-up bar at home <clears throat> you don't have the capacity to do pull-ups that's fine please by all means do not skip doing a pulling exercise do not substitute it for a pressing exercise this is an upper body pull so if that means you got to take a towel out and do towel pull-ups if you have to do bent over rows if you have to grab a toolbox and do bent over rows with that if you got dumbbells at the house, if you got a barbell at the house, um, <clears throat> the, the upper body pulling uh, exercises that we've been programming for everyone are of the utmost importance. So just because you may or may not have the capacity or ability to do pull-ups, I don't want you skipping over that, okay? Um, on the even minutes of that, we have 12 to 15 close stance squats, weighted as, or sorry, weighted if possible. <clears throat> um, now, if you've taken a look at the conditioning portion, really what that is, it's it's furthering the warm up for the pistols that we're going to program. However, a close stand squat, a close stand squat, is a very good exercise. It's an awesome assistance exercise that we use often. I actually uh, did the same exact EMOM yesterday as a finisher for my training. Um, <clears throat> so don't take those lightly. Don't just treat them as like a sub for pistols, and don't always see them and say, "But I can do pistols." Uh, so you're not going to do those. I will challenge you to do a feet elevated close stance squat weighted if you can. So just put your heels um, on a bumper plate or on a ledge or on a rubber mat or something. And what's going to happen is a lot of the loading is going to be concentrated in the quads and, or in the VMO of the quad. So um, do that. Don't skip over that and don't think, oh, you know, I'm fresh. I can do pistols. I can skip over that. There's a reason why it's designed. Uh, so I would love to hear how you guys felt doing that. Please leave us some notes in regards to that. Let's move on to the conditioning piece for today. So, um, I'll let you guys in on some, uh, inside baseball, some, some, uh, you can peer behind the curtain into how our brains work and how we program. I reference CrossFit HQ all of the time. I look at CrossFit.com every day, almost. Um, and when I'm going to sit down to program, just about everything, it's kind of like my guiding compass. Now, not just because I'm interested in what's going on in the brain of Dave Castro and Pat Sherwood and some of these guys are involved in programming for CrossFit HQ from a competitor standpoint, but they are always providing simple and sometimes unique program structures that I think are just so clean, simple, and awesome and give you guys the ability to push really freaking hard. Um, and anytime I'm going to use inspiration from that, I'll post that on the programming for you guys. So you have an insight to what's going on in my head. Today's one of those workouts. So this is a workout from April 26th on CrossFit.com. It's a 12 minute AMRAP of 20 wall balls and 20 alternating pistols. Super clean, very straightforward. Um, let's see here. So we had Sebastian, uh, from our program, from our local program here in Miami, test this workout. He got seven plus five. He did not substitute the pistols. And here's his note. He's a short dude. For those of you guys who don't know him, uh, his note was, I'm not very good at wall balls. My shoulder tends to burn out very quickly, much earlier than my legs. My goal was to keep going in this workout and do them as unbroken as possible and use the pistols as a recovery. Now, I laugh because that's not going to be very consistent for a lot of people. Um, it, Almost for myself, I hear that the pistols are going to be a recovery. Those pistols would probably take me two minutes just to get through. Um, let's see what else he says. Things I noticed. Started off too hot on the pistols because I didn't really notice until I did the workout that I shrug a lot during pistols. So it's hard to rest my shoulders. Very interesting. I changed my pistols to add an extra step in between to let my shoulders rest for a second. That's actually quite interesting. I've never really heard about shoulder fatigue during pistols, but, um, <clears throat> you know, Sebastian's the kind of guy who's recording his workouts and he can sit back and watch them. And yeah, I know, I, you know, I'm laughing about it and, and that does sound silly, but 
you never really know unless you have a coach watch you, a smart coach, or unless you video your own workouts and you can pick up on things like that. I use an example, I have an athlete um, at the top of every de deadlift, she has the tendency to shrug. She's not doing a clean pull. She's not doing any physique stuff. She's not a bodybuilder. It's just a tendency that she has. Um, and I'm actually really impressed that Sebastian was able to go back and watch his video and pick up on that. Okay. Um, now, as I said, Sebastian's on the shorter end. So he's going to more than likely struggle on wall balls. That's not the case for everyone. But uh, that, that is the case for many. Wall balls is a really hard movement for people who are vertically challenged. Um, and oftentimes for women as well. Um, so the suggested weight on wall balls is 20, and four, or 20 pounds for men, 14 pounds for ladies, uh, 10 feet for men, 9 feet for ladies. Sometimes we change that and we have everybody use the same target. Sometimes we don't. Today is 10 feet for men, 9 feet for ladies. All right, so let's talk about a few substitutions. If you do not have a target to consistently use to do uh, wall ball shots, then I would just pick somewhere on the wall that is consistent. You don't need to go on the outside of your house and measure it out and tape it out. That's not necessary. Um, if you are the type of dude who wants to go ahead and do that, right on, I applaud you. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Just pick something that you can hit consistently. That's what we're looking for. I don't even give a shit about the 10 foot and nine foot target for most. Just aim for consistency. If you're a badass at wall balls, go ahead, aim higher. Just post it so we can take a look to see how consistent you were in comparison to everybody else. All right. Now, uh, the, 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 the bigger thing to talk about in regards to substitutions are pistols. All right. So you have a couple of options. Option number one, which is what I would do, which is just lower the reps of the pistols. I may do as little, uh, you know, I would probably give myself a range and my range would probably be between six and about 12. I'd start out probably trying to get through 12 and by the end of the workout, I'd probably be doing a lot less. Depends on how I feel and depends on how those 12 or six were taking me. Um, but that is an easy first option uh, to, to substitute. Another option, which I love that I also did yesterday are Cossack squats. Um, Cossack squats are those side to side single leg squats that we do so often. That's a great substitute. Goblet squats are a great substitute. Assisted pistols are a great substitute. Reverse lunges are also a great substitute. Don't just be lazy and substitute your pistols with air squats. Why? Because you're never going to get better at doing pistols if you keep subbing them for air squats. Another thing too, you, you got 20 wall balls on the top half of this. So if you do 20 wall balls and 20 air squats, really what you're going to do is just drive yourself crazy you're going to end up doing 350 squats at the end of this workout. And that is not the idea. All right. <clears throat> um, I'll leave you with Sebastian's score. I'm not sure if I already said that, but his score was seven plus five. So keep that in mind. As always, post your scores, communicate with us. Let us know what you have going on. We can only get better and provide a good service to you, homies, if you guys are communicating with us. All right. Peace.